Everybody watch the pixels blend. The next basic functionality that we are looking into is the style transfer. In this case, we are using SDXL with an IP adapter. In this workflow, we are using a custom node, which is this one over here. And um, you see it's the ConfUI IP adapter plus made by Matteo. For using this workflow, it's a requirement that you install this node. And um, if you put your asset here and just hit generate, you should see that the generated image is heavily influenced by the uh, input image. To see what this exactly does, you set the vector to be fixed. You just generate an image. And now, for example, you play with the weight of the IP adapter to a different value and see how much the image is influenced from the input image. Or you can, for example, also uh, try out some of the other weight types here and see what these do. And again, for flux, we have a similar function. In this case, um, this is the Redox model from the flux tools. Just load it up, hit generate, and compare it to the XDXL functionality. GPU. You now should see that also this output is heavily influenced from the elements that you see on the input image. One of the main differences here is that uh, Flux Redox does the following. It looks at the image and it will provide uh, automatically the tokens for describing this image. And uh, these tokens will get concatenated to the prompt. And all of this is now being processed in the sampler that you see here. So this by default set to fixed, and if you set it to randomize, you will be able to generate another image and have a different output. Render frames now. Render frames now. Render frames now. Here you can set the strength of the apply style model node to, for example, lower it and see what will come out if I do it only by 0 0.232 design dreams and visions clear you for example now see that um, already in the preview here some of the elements um, they are still in the image but the overall composition for example is totally a different one to what we saw before <laughs> 